the big battle over what we today call privacy will be between privacy and health. Do you give access to what is happening inside your body and brain in exchange for far better health care? And my guess is that health will win, hands down. People will give up their privacy in exchange for health care, and maybe in many places they won't have a choice. I mean, they won't even get insurance if they are unwilling to give access to what is happening inside their body. So I want to talk to you today about the future of our species, and really the future of life. We are probably one of the last generations of Homo sapiens. Within a century or two, Earth will be dominated by entities that are more different from us than we are different from Neanderthals or from chimpanzees. Because in the coming generations, we will learn how to engineer bodies and brains and minds. These will be the main products of the economy, of the 21st century economy. Not textiles and vehicles and weapons, but bodies and brains and minds. Now, how exactly will the future masters of the planet look like? This will be decided by the people who own the data. Those who control the data control the future, not just of humanity, but the future of life itself. Because today, data is the most important asset in the world. In ancient times, land was the most important asset. And if too much land became concentrated in too few hands, humanity split into aristocrats and commoners. Then in the modern age, in the last two centuries, machinery replaced land as the most important asset. And if too many of the machines became concentrated in too few hands, humanity split into classes, into capitalists and proletariats. Now data is replacing machinery as the most important asset. And if too much of the data becomes concentrated in too few hands, humanity will split not into classes, it will split into species, into different species. Now, why is data so important? It's important because we've reached the point when we can hack not just computers, we can hack human beings and other organisms. There is a lot of talk these days about hacking computers and email accounts and bank accounts and mobile phones, but actually we are gaining the ability to hack human beings. Now what do you need in order to hack a human being? You need two things. You need a lot of computing power and you need a lot of data, especially biometric data. Not data about what I buy or where I go, but data about what is happening inside my body and inside my brain. 